Now I am going to show you how to join two tables using the query builder. I am going to create a function public function join and now I will write query here. Here I am going to create a new route and I am going to give here the name join. And here I will join two table. So I have only one table you know that is the students table. Now I am going to create here another migration for creating another table. So PHP artisan make migration and then create for example fees table. So another migration has been created into the database migrations. I see this file and here I am going to call the big integer big integer. Here this field will be student id the student tables id i am going to put here as the foreign key now another one will be for example a string and here i am going to give the string that is fee amount for example another field is fee amount and another one is uh, fee month for example so okay now i am going to run php artisan migrate so this table has been created here. I am going to check. One is a student's table and the ID from a student's table uh, will be into the fees table. You see that a new fees table comes here. I am manually going to insert some data here to work uh, quickly. So here you see that the student ID is 234. So here I am going first student 2. Fee amount is 1000 and month is January for example. Then I am going to insert another student. Uh, he, this ID is 3 and amount is 1500. January is the month. And for another one, I am going to add another. Go. Okay. And then another data that is student 4 ID and fee amount 2000. January is the month. Now I am going to click here and now in the fees table you see that for the student id 234 i have total three entries it is just for example in order to discuss about the join here so here i am going to join these two tables so what i will do in the join query i am going to call db table and here i will give the table name that is the main table is students and here i will use the join so who is one i will join with it i can uh, write this in the new line uh, so it will be better to understand so from a student's table i will join fees table so i will have to give fees so in the join function the first parameter will be the second table name which i will join with the first table so that table name is will be the first parameter second done i will have to give the relation that means from the students table the id field so students table dot id this one will be equal to uh, from with the fees table fees table which fees dot student id that means uh, from the students table this id will be in relation to this table this is student id that means fees table is student id because this is the foreign key so in this way i just make the relation here okay then i will have to use the select you can use uh, something like that from the face table you can select all and from the students table i can select only the student name so you can define here the students dot name so in this way you can uh, uh, add here many parameters like this and after that the last one will be get because i want to show all the data so if i just uh, run that dd uh, what you will see here this one i am going to put into a variable that is a result and that i will put it into the result so if i run this what you will see if i go here instead of delete here it will be join you see that both the table joins and all the data come together okay i added the second table name so name comes if i want that i also want the email and yes for example name is email 
etc you can bring here i just bring name so it is showing here here what i can do here i can show all the data like this for is then result as item and here i can show all the data item of name so i am going to show here a br now i am going to refresh you see that all the strings name are here so in this way all the students data i will bring here so i am going to add another one student name and s for example so here this is the student name and another one will be student s and i am going to get the uh, salary he paid i have that data also in my hand because i join already two tables so fee amount i can give here and here another br i add here so name is and fee amount will be shown for example you see that this is name this is is and this is the fee amount and it is working if you want you can also show the fee man that is actually according to your choice but i hope you have understood how to join two tables very easily uh, using the query builder